What's going on YouTube? I uh, just wanted to uh, create a video, um, actually probably a series, about my Innovative Marine 20 gallon aquarium. I uh, just recently got this back from a buddy and uh, cleaned it up. So tank is now cycled. I'm sure you can see the diatom algae on the bottom of the sand there. Uh, we got two clownfish and a six line ras hiding over in the back. So currently, um, we just wanted to talk about mainly what we put into this as far as equipment goes. So these two lights are the Fluval Nano uh, 25,000K each. Uh, we added two of them just because the lights wasn't you know spreading all the way through the tank. So now there's no dead spots. Uh, we plan on pitting some coral. So if you guys have any ideas of what you'd like to see in here, you know, send a message, let us know what you want. Um, as far as the equipment goes though, we have a sock filter over in this chamber here, a Innovative Marine desktop uh, protein skimmer. Um, so far, you know, it's producing a lot of micro bubbles, so we're still breaking it in. Hopefully the micro bubbles stop. Um, so this actual tube here is a valve, um, kind of like a silencer or muffler, if you will. We put some uh, filter floss in these two holes just to kind of quiet it down a little bit more. It was actually pretty loud and I didn't have enough room to use the whole hose to extend it behind the aquarium. Obviously they're, you know, with the wall being there. Um, over here, this is the auto top off uh, hose, which has um, a little sensor smaller than a penny. Forgot the name. I'll, if I remember, I'll um, put it in another video. But it's a really amazing ATO, you know, you, if, just to clean it, you just wipe it off uh, when you're doing your weekly water change. Uh, down below, the little green light down there, that's just the heater that we got from uh, PetSmart for, I think, about 20 bucks. And we have a uh, media reactor running carbon in it currently to try to clean up some of the diatom bloom. And then this here is not a sock filter, it's actually the um, Innovative Marine, I believe, UV sterilizer. You can kind of see a light coming through there in the back. Um, from what I understand, every review I've read, they're pretty amazing. Um, helps with parasites and algae and so forth. Helps keep the tank and aquarium clean. And um, as far as the aquascape goes, you know, there's, you can see there's a lot of nice little caves, areas for the fish to hide. Um, once we have coral growing on it, it's going to be pretty amazing. So definitely, like I said, if you guys have any ideas of what you want to see, whether it's Zoas or, um, you know, a softy tank, um, hammers, anything, just give us a shout, let us know. Um, we do have these, we replace the original... Uh, pump as well as the flow output valves So those there are pretty amazing. You can actually still see some of the air bubbles coming out from the protein skimmer, but um, These help, you know allow the flow to go through the entire aquarium So you're not just getting flow on the top of the water or the sides. It actually rotates around um, Pretty amazing. It was pretty loud actually when we first got it um, about I would say seven days or so later um plus with the algae that's growing it's quiet down quite a bit there's a lot of plastic gears in there that, that you hear spinning around so i think once you get a little slime coat and bacteria and algae growing quiets down quite a bit um i was worried about it when i first got them because of how loud they were um, but here is the actual equipment that we have so we have obviously two of the fluval c um, 2500k as I said before these are completely programma programmable and amazing um, use them on another aquarium on a 10 gallon that um, just worked awesome so definitely put two of those on just because Fluval they're starting to come out with a lot not a lot of nice lights and so forth um, so definitely if you're looking for some good lights for any kind of nano reef um, I have used them with coral before and had pretty good growth on them, so definitely check it out. 
And over here is the innovative marine products I was telling you about. So you have the media reactor, the Nuvo skimmer, and the ultraviolet uh, sterilizer. So I've never used any kind of sterilizers before. Really didn't use a protein skimmer on my other tank as well. So I'm interested to see how these are going. I'll leave some uh, new videos out soon with reviews as they break in and start skimming and um, the complete total you know, breakdown. What we did on the uh, skimmer though to pr stop producing so much micro bubbles is underneath. So around this area here and underneath where the pump goes, I went ahead and just put some filter floss in there, um, cut out a nice little square piece just to kind of stop it, you know, from shooting out thousands of them. And here is the Innovative Marine uh, Spin Stream Flow Nozzles. And they do 40 degree circular wave patterns. Um, so this is actually a pretty cool little invention that they did. Uh, definitely helps. I've noticed a lot of like food that gets on the rocks. You know, 20 minutes later I see it blown around and it's not on the rocks anymore. So definitely something, you know, you might want to invest in. They're not real expensive at all. And then, of course, on any innovative marine aquarium, I would suggest upgrading your pumps. So the pump that is right here is the Eheim uh, 1000. This, I believe, at a minimum is 400 gallons per hour. And I think it goes up to six or 800 gallons per hour. The stock pump on the Innovative Marine 20, at least, is around 220 gallons. So this is definitely going to provide a lot more flow, a lot more circulation um, and oxygen through the tank. And um, it works for, you know, both if you have fresh or marine uh, as well, obviously. So definitely, uh, if you get an Innovative Marine, upgrade the pumps. You won't regret it. And as far as cycling goes, um, I like to use Stability. Um, any Seachem brand is really good. I've used them for years on freshwater and saltwater tanks. And um, this, you know, obviously helps rapidly, you know, establish a biofilter and introduces, you know, almost like food and bacteria into the water. Um, but I also did add Fritz. Uh, live bacteria and Fritz is coming out with a lot of good products lately um, a lot of stores actually my main local aquarium store they actually switched up all their live bacteria got got rid of Dr. Tim's live nitrifying bacteria and just went to um, the Fritz brand completely they said that they've seen awesome awesome um, you know cycling times out of it and aquariums you know in the back you know as far as hospital tanks that they use it in um they said that all of it you know is doing really well and they pretty much stand by it so definitely um check out that brand if you can and over here is the uh heater i was saying that we got from PetSmart. Uh, i think it was like around 20 dollars or so um i didn't get anything rated over you know 20 to 40 i just got the uh 10 to 20 gallon aquarium meter because I don't like it to overheat just in case, you know, we get some um, polys or, you know, anything in there that could go pretty badly if it overheats and it gets stuck on a temperature. And then in the media reactor, I'm currently running uh, the Rock 0.8 premium carbon. Uh, this is a lot more expensive carbon, but if you do the reviews on, on the Rock 08, um, Everyone says that this is the best kind of carbon that you can use. I think BRS did a video on it specifically with different carbons and different actual um, baffles of a tank. And you can just see in that video just how amazing this stuff is. So definitely, if you're going to run carbon or anything, do it, you know, with the Rocks 8. And it's only like $5, $10 more than normal carbon. Um, but as of now, you know, the aquarium... Like I said, just got cycled. Everything's doing good. Fish are happy, eating, and uh, they're loving their new home, exploring. Uh, but, you know, definitely think of some uh, some coral ideas, what you want to see, where you want them placed in the tank, whether the left or the right or low and high. Um, I have dealt with coral before. Not a lot of um, 
hard corals, you know, mainly beginner corals like hammers and torches and things of that nature. So um, don't go too crazy on me, but uh, definitely let me know what you think and uh, look forward to other videos. Uh, I'm going to, you know, definitely, like I said, do reviews on each of the um, protein skimmer, media reactor, and so forth. Let you know what I think about them personally before you go spending money on it. Um, as well as on, we're going to do other videos as well. So it's not just going to be 100% aquariums and reefs. It's also going to be, you know, like fishing on a boat, fixing stuff on boats, or um, my buddy and I um, do protection officer as well. So we have a lot of vests, we have guns, um, go to the range quite a bit. Um, hopefully we'll be doing some hunting videos uh, pretty soon as well. So if you're interested in hunting or gardening even, you know, we're definitely going to do other stuff. But as of now, you know, this is going to be um, the first main series on the 20 gallon Nuvo. So innovative marine. So definitely uh, like, subscribe, share the video. You know, I'm new to face, uh, YouTube and uh, hopefully get a Facebook up and going eventually. Um, so definitely like, subscribe, share. Appreciate you. And if you have any questions, comments. Um, any constructive criticism, you know, definitely uh, send a message, let me know, and I'll definitely get back with you guys. Thank you.